Hi guys, I'm Danika Roberts and you're watching What Up? So for today's episode or for today's look and whatever, I don't know what to call this, but for today, we will be discussing five ways of how how I boost my self-confidence and how you can do it too. I hope that helps, you know? <laughs> so some key information that will help this get even better is you should know, one, your mirror is gonna be your best friend because at the end of the day, the mirror is just reflecting you and if you are able to look in the mirror and accept you, you got it. Down, pack, just saying. Second is that you are your biggest critic and you need to be aware that you give yourself the hardest time. And the number one reason why it's so much easier to love other people and not oneself is because we lower our standards for people whereas in our own right, we go, you're supposed to be this, you're supposed to be that. We're we give ourselves this extreme reality of who we are and how we should feel about ourselves. Now with that said, let's start off with number one. So for number one, it is affirmations. It's basically you telling yourself what you want to hear, telling yourself what you want to think, creating a new idea of who you are and how you should feel about yourself. And affirmations work, they work. They change your way of thinking. Once you start to change your way of thinking, you start to change your whole person altogether. So some easy affirmations to say to help you feel better about yourself is one, you can go, I am beautiful. Oh, girl, stop. <laughs> Or you can go, I am, I like to say this personally, I am limitless. You can put your limit on me, that's you. But to me, I am limitless. Nothing you can say to me will stop me from feeling that way about myself. Period. I am successful. You can just say these and then you'll see you get somewhere. The number one thing they will tell you about the thought is that your mind is very powerful what you think then becomes your reality and once you start to change the narrative of what you're saying to yourself so once you start to tell yourself that you're pretty you will see prettiness or once you tell yourself you're beautiful you'll start to see beauty once you tell yourself that you're successful you will start to see success because then you start to exhibit behaviors that demonstrate these set things that's one two occupying yourself so what that means is the number one time that you start destroying yourself is when you start thinking too much about something so let's say you gained weight when you start thinking about it too much is when it starts to destroy you is when it starts to get to you so give yourself an activity to do read a book they help you can read books on affirmation they are wonderful have this one called the angels of affirmation it is great probably won't find it anytime soon but it's a good one and it will tell you basically to create a space where you feel great so occupy yourself by putting yourself into music see I can't sing but that don't stop me that don't stop me from trying that don't stop me from making sure that I feel good when I'm singing I'll give you a demonstration put your head on my shoulder <laughs> anyways occupying yourself really does work if you start to distract yourself that's, that's a, be a weird way of saying it but if you start to give yourself other reasons other ideas other visions it helps three putting it into existence me to boost my confidence, I tend to dress my part. Now, this is how broke boutique even comes into play. Because I personally put on clothes that make me feel 
confidence. People be like, why are you wearing heels here? Because what? When I am taller, I feel more assertive, I feel more confident. There's nothing you can tell me to bring me down from where I am at. Two, when I put on that outfit and I walk down that road and you go, why is she so extra? I go, well, baby, extra, extra, read all about it, okay? Because I'm content with where I am, I'm content with who I am, I'm content with the appearance that I have now. You can either hate it or you can appreciate it. At the end of the day, people still do what they want to do. I think that was number, that was number three, right? Number four. Talking to yourself. <clears throat> now, people would have this idea that talking to yourself is a crazy action because of answering yourself. But I like to think that the number one person you can go to about your problems is you. You're the only person who can understand it the way you do. You're the only person who will reason to your level, to your understanding. So talking to yourself is like, okay, so somebody, let's say somebody threw a comment about something that you yourself are fully aware of that you you don't like very much so let's say you just gained weight and you're aware of it and somebody goes oh Caribbean people love to do this long time I don't see you you get so fat you just like thank you ah I really I noticed I, I noticed but thank you for telling me and hitting me where it hurts so imagine you go you can either tell yourself oh look at me I'm so fat ah, I'm so ugly i'm so oh so this because negative thoughts negativity generally comes easier than being positive just saying way easier so you can go and you can go about it like oh i'm this i'm that i'm this i'm that or you can be like i'm not fat baby i'm thick get it right <laughs> and if you're me you probably tell somebody that straight up they be like, you're fat. I'm like, no baby, I'm thick. Get it right. The fat is in the right places. God intended for it to be this way. God intended for me to shape this way. Sorry that you're a hater, but this is it. And sometimes people do this to skinny people. It's when you realize if you're out here trying to please society, you forever, forever, forever be running crazy because they are hard to please because they be making fun of skinny people too oh my gosh you're so twig like nobody feed you oh my gosh you lost so much weight why you look so oh bones no meat people are mean that's all i'm saying and the last one number five is surround yourself with people who make you want to be better surround yourself with people who make you feel amazing I know it's like you can't always depend on people just imagine if you had a hype man or a hype woman like like me per se I I don't care who you are what you're doing if you're doing something and I'm a fan of it I'm gonna be like yes! why because it's free it's free to do it that it doesn't hurt nobody it doesn't do anything destructive to anybody it makes people feel better about themselves so if you surround yourself with a whole bunch of girls who legit resonate the level of confidence that you want at some point you will resonate the confidence like they always say you are the friends that you keep I tend to go around people who are successful <laughs> but I tend to go around people with a strong drive people who are supporters no matter what and that was the last tip you can definitely try them and tell me if they work for you like share and subscribe thank you for watching let me know if it was helpful okay bye <laughs>